Now approaching 10,000 feet. So, how do you like your first flight, Bobby? Mom, the man in front of us literally smells like pigs. Pigs that got in a circle, pooped in it, rolled around in it, and then sat in it for several days. At this point, I think I'd rather walk the 1,000 miles to our destination. Son, you learn throughout your life that flying can be a very arduous process. Other lays start to change your brain, make you crazy, and by the end of it all, you'll just want to take everyone on the plane and throw them out, reminding the whole world that you do not deny Elite Zimmerman an extra package of. Wait, is that Jack over there? Hi, Jack! I haven't seen you in a. Stop right there! You're under the rest by the odds of me, Sir Count Von Squigglybeard! What do you want? I overheard suspicious activity and came to investigate. You sat right in front of me, of course you overheard. Well, doesn't matter. Come with me! Um, what just happened? He must have had 100.001 milliliters of liquid in his bladder! All I know is that he had a hotel reservations! We gotta get him out. Well, I've checked things out, and I've found multiple discrepancies in your supplied identification. Do you tell? Well, for one, the hair is longer. It was longer then. The shirt is different. I wore another shirt that day. The background is different. Um, yeah? Also, the skin color of the man here is gray, whereas you are obviously yellow. Are you an idiot? <laughs> Dude, what's his problem? Have you seen the food on this plane? It's more akin to the feces of a skunk than it is to anything actually edible. This is how we're gonna save Dad? It's either this, or the Omaha Technique! And that only leads to death, suffering, and cheese. Oh, whatever, let's just do this! <coughs> well, only one thing left to do. Says, D.B. Cooper is in the back of the plane! Eh, yeah, what do I care? Not like he's important or anything. Um... There's also ice cream back there. DQ? The whole menu. No time to waste. This looks like a job for Wonder Pilots. Come, faithful sidekick. There's a storm of brewing in the back. And I think it's time we go make it a blizzard. Oi! Oh, Rola! Go! Alright, you fiend, where's the ice cream? Well, uh, the cart is over. Not talking, I see. Well, I'll just use my Wonder Vision. So, um. Unhurt him, you fiend! Surely you have nothing more to gain from this! I do! And my name isn't spelt with a U, it's spelt with an HI. Wait a second, everyone. If both of the pilots are down here, Who's steering the plane? What the heck are we going to do now? I know. I'll fly out of the plane and use my super strength to touch us down safely. Geronimo! Another amazing play by Mr. Woods. Can he ever stop? What are we gonna do? I don't know. You don't see any large inflatable dolls here, do you? There is only one more option. Hey, plane? Yes? We really need some help to land, and our major pilot is gone. So could you do it for us? Sure thing, buddy. Why didn't we just do this before? Later, on a highway, after 20 minutes of circling the area... Well, it is nice to be back on the ground. Cause I am not flying again for a long time. Yeah. Hey, wait just a second. The plane is now toy sized. Maybe when we exited the plane, we entered another dimension, and so we are now giant sized. Or maybe the director was too cheap to buy the plane set, so he just substituted it with this microscale crap. Looking at you, Sanjira. Hey, shut up. 